Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is just a video uh, to uh, start off the weekend. Um, I want to tell you all what I'm up to this weekend. First off, I'm going to do the giveaway, but I'm going to do that later because yesterday I made 10 pendants with the most beautiful squishes I have. So I'm going to give away two and um, I'll do that tomorrow morning, I think. Now, here is fabric that I bought for these uh, flower pots. I'm not having much luck on making the template. I've tried a couple of um, a couple of things because I want to make it really easy for you guys. Um, as you know, because this is a little broader on here under the rim than it is on the bottom, you'll have a template that go has an arc. And I've tried putting stickers on here and then, you know, drawing it and then pulling the stickers off, but they didn't come off. So that wasn't a good idea. I tried it with paper, tried it with plastic, and I'm working on a, a template that everyone can do because the video I showed you, it looked really easy, but it wasn't that easy. So um, I'm working on it. Then what I'm going to do is uh, put these fabrics on there. I'll show you how it's going to look. Let me just put a fold in it a little bit. So that's what it's going to look like. That's kind of cute, isn't it? It has uh, the little bit of terracotta color in it. So I might just keep the uh, rims the, uh, the, the color it is right now. And this one, let me just fold it up a little bit. So this one's going to go on there. That's looking really cute too. And then I got this one, a little bit purplish pinkish, which is going to look awesome too. So I'm going to do a lot of these as soon as I get a template. <laughs> okay, guys, putting this away. Now, um, what else do I have? I have um, a lot of pearly colors because I want to do a pearly pour. And what I have is, and these are all um, mixed. So uh, some of it is primary elements, some of it is pearlex. And it's just to give you guys an idea that you can mix up your own with any mica that you have at home. Pearlex is just the same stuff. Um, some of you might have Patty's pigments. That's okay too. You can use that. And what I do is I just mix up my own colors. So you can't ask me which colors I'm using because they're very much my own colors. This one I added, even added a little bit of glitter in there to see if that's going to pop up when I'm ready. This one is sort of bluish purple. Mixed a little bit of color in there too. Then I'm going to mix it with Payne's Gray. It's not black, but Payne's Gray from Windsor & Newton. And then I have uh, white, and that is titanium white, Windsor and Newton. But I'm going to do this in a um, uh, under pressure little thing in a little plastic bag. So uh, let's do this. First off, I'm going to um, make sure that my background is nice and wet. And I'm going to do that if I can get my brush. Uh, nice and soft. Oh, there's a little bit of fiber in there. Okay, so I'm going to uh, put the white on the base already, like that, just to make sure that it has um, enough moisture that it'll um, make the colors really flow over the, uh, over the canvas. And I want the I wanted first off I wanted the background to be sort of off white and I made a batch of that but there's too many bubbles in it and it has to rest for a while should have made it yesterday but I was making those pendants yesterday so here we go nicely covered making sure that it has enough moisture to flow off the uh, off the canvas so putting that away, then I'm taking a pot. I will show you, give it a little bit more room. 
and here I have my plastic little plastic bag putting it in there and then I want to start off with the same as the background color so we're putting the white in there then I want the paints gray a little bit more of the white just a little bit on top and then I'm going to come in with those uh, those colors so I'm going to put them in really carefully because I want to make sure that they the uh, colors that I really like are sort of next to each other and the lighter blue oh and I know what I forgot I forgot all about silicone guys well we'll see I'll do two and we'll just see what happens if you don't add silicone that might be fun that you see the difference between both okay we're going to top it off with a little bit more white not too much though just spreading it on top and then again the paint's gray there it is and we're going to put that together and it's not much paint but because of the uh, background already being uh, white I'm hoping that this is going to work so what I want to do is turn the bag so we get some really some pressure on top of this and then we're going to cut it and it's coming out not like I expected but it's a good thing to have this test piece so I know that I shouldn't be putting too much color in there but what I absolutely need is some of the colors are popping through but they're not something that I really think is uh, appealing to the eye so I'm going to get rid of those bubbles And then I'm going to make sure that the paint is covering the whole thing. And when I'm doing this, I'm hoping that I'm getting just a little bit more of those pearly colors popping up. This is going to take some time, guys, but sometimes you just have to uh, let it flow. And don't worry about how slowly it's going you can help it a little bit with your finger like I'm doing now and you can tap on the table like this just to make it flow more now as you can see almost none of those beautiful colors are popping up and that's really a shame because uh, that was the purpose of this pour now it isn't a ugly pour if it was I'd say so you know how I am about that so it isn't really an ugly pour but to, to say that it's pretty uh -uh, not what I was expecting let's pull this one down there it's moving but it's moving really slow see if it's shining through Nah, I don't see much okay the next one is going to be with the uh, silicone and everything and we will see how different that that is helping it along a little bit because it's taking way too long there we go we'll see what happens with this you know it just might be when it all dries up that the uh, the pearly colors might pop up and you know show itself but we never know so I'm gonna put this one away guys and I'll be right back with a new canvas later <laughs> 